Okay. So, Shrenik, it's uh, question number three. Question number three is verify that y is equal to x cube minus x into log cx is the solution of the differential equation x cube minus x into dy by dx minus 3x square minus 1 into y equal to x raised to the power 5 minus 2x cube plus x. Okay, so let's solve the same, uh, let's solve this by using the same methodology. Let's do step by step. So what you have to do, you have to take the solution first. Okay, so take the solution, it's y is equal to x cube minus x into log cx okay so you take this first take the solution okay take the solution part from the question that is going to be your first step the next step is going to be you have to differentiate both the sides you have to differentiate both the side with respect to x okay so how do you differentiate how do you write it first you have to write it as d by dx of y equal to d by dx of the rest of the part. What it is? It's x cube minus x into log cx. Okay. So you're just doing the differentiation now. So differentiation of y with respect to x is just dy by dx. Okay. So here you do have x cube minus x into log of cx. So we are going to differentiate this with respect to x. You can consider, you can consider the x cube minus x as u. x cube minus x as u and log cx as v. So you know how to use the product rule. The product rule is uv the whole dash is equal to uv dash plus vu dash. Okay. So let's find what is u dash and v dash. We do have u and v already. So after finding the u dash and v dash, you just have to substitute back in the product rule. So what is u dash? u dash is differentiation of u with respect to x. So you know how to differentiate this using the power rule. The power rule is d by dx of x raised to the power n is n into x power n minus 1. So differentiation of x cube will give you the answer as 3x square and differentiation of x will give you the answer as 1. Okay, so just substitute them over here. So it will be u dash is equal to differentiation of x cube is 3x square, differentiation of x is 1. So that is your u dash. What is v dash? How will you differentiate v dash? v dash is differentiation of log cx. You know the formula for the differentiation of log x already. d by dx of log x is 1 by x, isn't it? So d by dx of log cx will give you 1 upon cx. It's 1 upon cx. But here, you do have cx, not c. So here you need to use chain rule. You just have to multiply the coefficient of x with this, OK? So you differentiated the log cx once. So the differentiation of log cx is 1 upon cx. And then you just have to write the coefficient of x in your result. You just have to multiply your result by c. That is chain rule, isn't it? We're just using chain rule here. Because when you differentiate log x, you will get the answer as 1 by x. Here, you don't have log x. Here it is log cx. You do have cx here. So just write it as 1 upon cx. And then you have to, again, differentiate this cx. If you differentiate cx, what you will get? x will turn into 1. And you will be left with c alone. It's c into 1, which is c. 
So you write that answer over here. I hope it is clear. So differentiation of log Cx will give you the result as 1 by x because C and C will get cancelled out each other. So V dash is 1 by x. Please go through your basics if you don't understand what is chain rule. So we found the value of u dash and v dash now. Let's substitute in the product rule again. So what is product rule? It's uv dash plus vu dash. What is u? u is x cube. I'm just substituting in the product rule. Okay. So u is x cube minus x. And what is v dash? V dash is 1 by x. You have plus sign here. Plus what is v? V is log cx. And u dash, what is u dash? u dash is differentiation of x cube minus x. Differentiation of x cube is 3x square and differentiation of x is 1. So differentiation of this part will give you the result as 3x square minus 1. Isn't it? I'm just writing the answer for this. It's 3x square minus 1. So we just finished the product rule, which means we just differentiated the right hand side. We can still simplify this. Just take the x as common from this. x cube and x has x terms in it. Just take it out. It will become x square minus 1 into 1 by x plus log cx into 3x square minus 1. Just write the remaining stuff as it is. Cancel out this x and this x. Okay, so we'll be having x square minus 1 plus log of cx into 3x square minus 1. So this will be the answer for the differentiation of x cube minus x into log cx. Okay, so just write that over here. It's going to be x square minus 1 plus log cx into 3x square minus 1. So we just perform the differentiation dy, dy, dy dx is equal to x square minus 1 plus log cx into 3x square minus 1. Okay. Look at your differential equation. It's x cube minus x into dy by dx minus 3x square minus 1 into y is equal to x power 5 minus 2x cube plus x. So you just have to substitute the value of dy by dx in this and then you check whether you are getting the right hand side or not. So we are till here. I mean, not even here. We are here. We are here now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite the question. You have log Cx here, isn't it? So I'm just writing the solution again. What is my solution? The solution is y is equal to x cube minus x into log cx. You can write log cx as y upon x cube minus x. 
Yeah. So you can rewrite log C X as Y upon X cube minus X. So dy by dx is equal to x square minus 1 plus what is log cx? Log cx can be written as y upon x cube minus x. Yeah. So just write log cx as y upon x cube minus x. And you have 3x square minus 1 in the multiplication. You write that as it is. That's why they did it here. So now what are you going to do here? This x cube minus x is the denominator for this part. This part contains the denominator as one. So whenever we do have a two different denominator, we can go for LCM. So now we are going to take LCM on the right hand side. So if you take LCM, what will happen? Just write dy by dx as dy by dx itself. This x square minus 1 will become x square minus 1, x square minus 1 into x cube minus x plus y into 3x square minus 1 whole divided by x cube minus x. Okay, so you're just taking the LCM part over here. So now you take this denominator to the right hand, left hand side, what will happen? It will do multiplication. So it will become x cube minus x into dy by dx is equal to x square minus 1 into x cube minus x plus y into 3x square minus 1. So we did LCM since it has two different denominator. After performing the LCM, you just have to take the denominator on the right hand side to the left hand side. So it performs multiplication. So you have x cube minus x into dy by dx equal to x square minus 1 into x cube minus x plus y into 3x square minus 1 now. Just look at your question. Just see whether you are getting the same differential equations or not. Okay, here you do have x cube minus x dy by dx minus 3x square minus 1 into y. So you'll be able to observe that 3x square minus 1 into y term here. I'm talking about this term. Yeah, so just take this term to the left hand side. Okay, here it is an addition. If you move it to the left hand side, it will do subtraction. So we'll write it as x cube minus x into dy by dx and minus 3x square minus 1 into y equal to x square minus 1 into x cube minus x. I'm just writing this part as it is. I'm taking the second half alone to the left hand side. So now in your right hand side, you do have x power 5 minus 2x cube plus x. So just check whether you are getting that by simplifying the right hand side or not. In your right hand side, you do have x square minus 1 into x cube minus x. So let's multiply this. Take the x square inside and do the multiplication with these two terms. It will become x power 5 because x square into x power 3. What will happen? You will be just adding the power, isn't it? When the bases are same, you will be doing the addition on the power. So it will it become x power 5 and x square into x will become x cube minus x cube. So we are done with that. So now we have to take this and do the multiplication. Minus 1 into x cube is nothing but it's minus x cube. And minus 1 into minus x is plus x. 
So this minus x cube and minus x cube can be simplified as minus 2x cube. So it's x part 5 minus 2x cube plus x. Okay. So just substitute that in the right hand side. So now you just check in the left hand side you do have x cube minus x into dy by dx minus 3x square minus 1 into y. <coughs> so you are getting the same differential equation by differentiating the given solution. I hope it is clear. Just a second, I'll just stop recording and then open the new recording again. Okay.